This is a video about the uh, production of campus network diagram in Visio 2010. And we'll provide a brief overview and explanation of some of the methods being used for doing this. Now, the first thing we want to mention here is that this is a physical diagram of a network. I mean, that we're showing uh, actual physical components, uh, fiber optic cables, uh, switches, UPSs, uh, environmental monitors, that sort of thing. I'm uh, just showing the major components, so it's not a detailed drawing, but basically just uh, major components that have uh, IP addresses or, or major parts of the data closet. This drawing can be done on a large sheet or a single sheet per building. Uh, in this particular drawing, we're using the single sheet. It's a little more flexible, and uh, probably for what we're trying to do here, it could show us just as well on single sheets. Now, of course, when I say uh, single sheet, I'm talking about a single sheet per building as opposed to a large single sheet. Uh, we'll use a minimum of data and uh, data fields with the equipment. Uh, this is not intended to be a major database for equipment. Uh, it's just uh, basically uh, documentation for construction and uh, give a general overview of where equipment is located. Uh, some special features in this drawing are um, make use of the uh, new containers that have been introduced in, in 2010 Visio. Uh, they simplify the drawing, uh, make some things a little bit easier to do. Visio has, uh, well, Microsoft has done a nice job with Visio over the last 10 or 12 years now since acquiring it. Uh, this is the third update since the original uh, Microsoft Visio 2000. And uh, it's a nice uh, feature. We'll be uh, using custom data fields, making uh, a little bit of changes to the way the, the data, standard data fields work. And we'll also be um, making use of reports, uh, which are pretty helpful with this. Uh, some of the advantages of this, despite the fact that it's a little more complex in doing the setting up the drawing, will be that we provide uh, these schedules, which are useful for the takeoff, uh, maintenance, and, and other purposes. The drawing is automated, so once the setup has been done in terms of the equipment, uh, stencils, and that sort of thing, it enhances the productivity. It's very quick to produce the drawing. I'm going to expand the size of it. And one uh, excellent feature is that uh, the use of the schedules provides a very effective way to check on the accuracy of the drawing. And um, so that's a, a huge asset in producing good documentation.